Welcome to Driver's Education and Traffic Safety. My name is Mr. Siefker and I will be your teacher for this course. Please be sure to pay close attention to this video and watch it in its entirety as it contains information about the rules and requirements of taking a course with Orange County Virtual School, as well as specific information about how to properly and successfully navigate through the Driver's Ed course. This is the course announcement page and contains many important things you will need. First, you can see in the top left-hand corner, I have my contact information listed, including my email and a phone number you can call or text me at. There is also a link here if you need to schedule an appointment with me for any reason. Another valuable piece of information on the announcement page is my office hours. It's important to note that all phone calls, text messages, and emails sent outside of office hours will be returned the next business day. Remember, OCVS is an Orange County Public School, and we follow the OCPS calendar for school holidays. Finally, at the bottom right-hand corner of the announcement page is the number for tech support. If you're having any issues with the course, please contact tech support for help. They will work with you to troubleshoot the problem and help to get it fixed. One important thing to notice is the black bar at the top of the course. On this black bar, you will see the email button. This is where all email communication from me will be sent to you. You need to be logging into the course frequently and checking your email as it will contain important information about the course. You are expected to do this and not doing so will not be an excuse for not knowing something that I sent. Another important feature on the black bar at the top of the course is the main menu button. From the main menu button you can access the lessons, your gradebook, or if you need to get back to the announcement page this can be done from there as well. Now it's time to learn how to access the course content. Click on the main menu at the black bar at the top and then click on lessons. On the page that loads, be sure to click the Hit the Road button to access the Driver's Ed platform. When you first enter the Driver's Ed platform, this will be the first screen that you see. The first thing you need to do is click on the Complete Enrollment button. Here will ask for your personal information. It is very important that you are sure that your name is spelled correctly that your date of birth is accurate, and that it has the proper gender. It will also ask you some other questions whether or not you have a driver's license or permit already. In addition, you also see it asks you for the last four digits of your social security number. They ask you for this information as this course meets the requirements to earn a Traffic Law Substance Abuse Education Certificate, which is a requirement to earn a permit and or a license. Another important question it will ask you is which county you reside in. This is very important for Orange County residents as residents of Orange County are entitled to six free hours of behind the wheel training from the Florida Safety Council once they have completed the course and earned their permit. After you have entered your personal information, be sure to hit the green Start Course button. This button will take you to the table of contents for the course here on the left hand side. On the right hand side is the information you are required to read and view for each lesson. When you get to the bottom it will always have a next button to click to the next part of the course. As you work through the course you will notice check marks as you complete each part of the course. It's important to make sure that you have all check marks completed before moving into the next module. You can also click on the blue button to bring the scroll back up, and there you'll see a check mark for the module one. That means you have completed everything in that module. If you skipped any part, there will still be a circle here with no check mark. It's very important to ensure that you are completing everything assigned in the modules. If you complete only part of the lessons, or part of the tests, or part of the quizzes, or part of the assignments, and skip other parts, 
you will be considered behind pace, which will put you at risk of being withdrawn from my course. Early in the module one, you will notice a section called navigating the course. This is one of the most important lessons in the course, as this will teach you how to navigate successfully through the course and also teach you about the different assignment types. After you have completed the activation process, the following Monday morning you will be officially activated. Sometime during that day, you will receive an email to your course email inbox that will contain an attachment that is your pace chart. Your pace chart is customized for you based on the day you start the course. The driver's ed course is only a six week course. It is important to understand that students are required to remain on pace throughout the course. Failure to meet this requirement will result in students being withdrawn at the end of their grace period. In addition, students are also required to submit work each week. What this means is that if you jump out and work ahead of pace, which you are more than welcome to, you still must submit at least one assessment each week. On your pace chart that you'll be sent, you'll notice a couple very important things. On the left hand side is the due date. This will have the due date for that week's assignments. It's important to note that assessments are due by 8 a.m. on the date listed. In the middle is a list of the lessons, tests, or quizzes, and assignments. You'll notice on the grid on the right hand side, you will see an L, a Q, or a Q and an A. An L means it's a lesson, which will have nothing to submit. A Q represents a quiz, which you will take at the end of your lesson in the driver's ed platform. A Q and an A means there is a quiz as well as an assignment due. Be sure that you are completing the assignments as well as the quizzes. If you only go through the lessons and take the quizzes, but skip the assignments, you will be considered behind pace, which will result in you being withdrawn at the end of your grace period. Now that you have come to the conclusion of this brief introductory video, you have completed step one of the activation process. It's very important that you go back to the welcome email and carefully read the directions for step two of the activation process. You must complete both step one and two of the activation process to become officially activated. If you do not complete both steps of the activation process, you will lose your seat in my class. Please understand, even though you are assigned to my class and are able to begin working, if you do not complete the activation process, you will be removed from my roster. So be sure to get that done right away so you don't complete any work and end up being removed. The last thing to remember is that I am here to help you and I want to see you be successful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me for assistance. Again, on my course announcement page, you have my phone number, which you can text or call, as well as my email address. Please be sure to contact me if you need any help. I look forward to having you in my class.